were the Savo man eaters. The Savo man eaters were a pair of manless lions that developed an unfortunate taste for human flesh. Their devastating havoc lasted from March to December 1898 at a construction site. They have a marvelous story. Construction workers began building a bridge over the Savo River in Kenya, but over the next nine months of their work, two lions would kill the workers in their sleep and drag them off the construction site to devour them. The workers began to build fences and light fires in order to scare away the man-eaters. But to no avail, the lions would jump over or simply fall through the man-made obstacle. As the attacks continued, hundreds of workers began to flee the Savo River in Kenya. Finally, to combat these killings, John Henry Patterson, a tiger hunter, was hired to kill the man-eaters. Patterson set up traps and attempted to ambush the lions, but he was unsuccessful in his first attempt. He eventually found the first lion, and taking out his rifle, he wounded the beast with a shot to its hind leg. But it got away from him and escaped. Later that night, the man-eater began stalking Patterson as he was looking for it. He saw the cat and shot it right through the shoulder, piercing its heart. The lion did manage to flee the scene, but Patterson found it dead the next morning. Dealing with a second lion proved to be far more difficult. Patterson had shot the beast from the top of a scaffold he had built. Underneath the scaffold was goat kills, which the lion had made. He used these kills to lure the lion, but the lion escaped. Eleven days later, Patterson caught the lion stalking him, and he shot it twice with a powerful rifle, but again, the man eater managed to flee. When he found the lion again the next day, he shot it three times, severely crippling the animal. The wounded man-eater charged at Patterson, it would have been no more than 30 feet from him. The old-time tiger hunter was in a near-death situation, but his aim was on point. He landed three more shots on the animal, two in the chest and one in the head. He stated that the man-eater was gnawing on a tree branch, still trying to reach him, but it died. Patterson sold the lion skins and their skulls to the Chicago Field Museum, where they are still on display to this day. He also wrote several books about his findings. He had become a published writer. Exact figures are unclear, but Patterson believed that the Savo man-eaters were responsible for at least 140 human fatalities.